Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, I kind of have to do this a little bit differently. Um, the music that's going to be playing is, uh, let me do this before I forget. Okay, I already have it looped. Okay, anyway, um, what I'm going to be playing here is, uh, Legend of Legaea. There, it's an old, uh, PlayStation 1 game that he used to play a lot back in the day. Um, this is uh, one of their one of their song, one of their tunes, Jeremy. Uh, but again, I'm gonna kind of do this a little bit differently. The one that I'm actually wanting to play was um, it's like a it's like a 10 hour version of it. Now I don't want my vi I don't want this video running 10 hours, so there's not much point in actually playing a video on it. But what I did like about it though was the uh, was the thumbnail. I thought it was kind of a cute thumbnail. Yeah, this is this is coming from a person that, when it comes to fighting games, I love grapplers, and my favorite sport is rugby. More on that later, by the way. Yeah, and yeah, and I kind of like the kind of like the thumbnail on this other video. But what I ended up trying to do is uh, doing what I have been doing recently, doing like uh, copyright safety checks, like um, you know, I'll like like I've said in my other casts. I'll I'll download the video and then I'll re-upload it to see um to see whether or not I get any uh, copyright claims on it. Um but as the video I was originally wanting was a 10-hour video, that took forever. So um I ended up having to abandon the project and uh instead just uh looping a looping a short 2-minute version and then just um I I took the uh I took the thumbnail and just uh, just just saved it with MS Paint and just go ahead and um, add it to OBS and just use that as my thumbnail. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. And I do have to sound check this. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and stay close enough. Um, and as with a lot of my other casts, there's gonna there's gonna be a fair amount of moving parts on this one here, so don't be surprised if I'm making a few goops here and there. Alright, but, um, otherwise, for the most part, didn't really do a whole lot, just, just a laser and slobbing around, um, a good chunk of that was also due to the fact that, uh, yesterday morning I ended up with a sinus infection, um, so I didn't get deadly squat for sleep, and, um, even, uh, even during my stream, I still had a problem with it, but, um, When uh when I did my pinball when I did my pinball stream, it um it actually went pretty good. Or I should say about average, maybe a little a little above average here. I gotta I gotta take a drink real quick. Hmm. Arizona green tea for those that don't know. But uh overall, did slightly above average. Um, for Pinball Arcade, though, I kicked some pretty good butt on Black Knight. I mean, I didn't, I, um, uh, I came pretty close to beating my high score. So, it, um, uh, I think, uh, my high score was 3.7 million. I got 3.5 million. So, I got pretty close. So, but again, um, everything else, I guess, I performed solidly, I guess would be another way of looking at it. I didn't, I wasn't stellar, but then again, I didn't suck ass either, like a, 
like I've had half before. Like I've had half before. Um. Okay, I do need to do something else. Still working on it. But, um, but otherwise, um, throughout the night, uh, little bits here and there, I also did, uh, I puttered around in some Dragon Ball Fighters, in fact. Good, it worked. And, um... Now, the original plan was for this game. I was just going to play this long enough until I got my uh, new controller. And speaking of my new controller... Um... Both good and bad, it's a new controller. But on the downside, it, um... It has to be wired. I... Yesterday, uh... During my stream, I tried making it wireless. But it just wasn't working. Um, I think I had a... I'd probably have to unpair my blue one. Unpair my blue one with Bluetooth. And then repair it with the white one. But I, on the other hand... I can't see why Bluetooth couldn't pair up with both of them. So I don't... I don't get it. And I think I did look at my, uh... My Bluetooth menu. Both of them actually are paired up. Right, let me go ahead and try it now. Nope. It up. Uh, it flashes up. Uh, it flashes light blue for a few seconds and then stops. Then nothing. But anyway, let me go ahead and move along. But um. But I just kind of made a discovery on uh. On. On the uh, grapplers in this game. At least with the, with the ones that I'm going with, they're also zoners. Um, back when I played Fantasy Strike, my uh, my main in that game was Rook, and my uh, my other main was Argagarg. He was the uh, he was the the melee zoner, for lack of a better word. I mean, if you you know if you're familiar with Dalsum from the Street Fighter universe, um, Argagarg plays like him. That was my other main, but it just kind of occurred to me. The, the team I got, I got the best of both worlds. Because this guy in particular... That's, I mean, that's a throw. And that's, that's another throw. So, but, uh... Got another throw. And... And then this one here. That's an air throw. And if I'm guessing right... can't. I mean, heck, just the headbutt alone. Let me uh, double check something. Okay, you guys can see it. I mean, just the, the headbutt alone. Forward and circle. That's a throw. Um, I think Gigantic Fury is another throw. 
Uh, Gigantic Heave, I believe, is also another throw. Oh, yeah, and there's that. Yeah, um, now, just like all other characters, he can shoot normal projectiles just by uh, hitting X. But like I said, I, uh, for the longest time, I didn't think this game had grapplers. I thought it was all just uh, rush down combo guys, but no. I mean, I mean that's a throw. That, that, that's a throw. That's a throw. So, so this guy's got three different throws on here. They're, they're not that hard to execute. So, I'm liking this way better than a uh, Potemkin in Guilty Gear. Potemkin, I think he has one of his command throws is like half circle back, then forward, and then um. One of the punch, one of the attack buttons. Can't remember which. Um, I think uh, he has another command throw, but you can only do it while in the air. And then his uh, his third command throw is like is a quarter circle forward twice. But even then, your uh, your meter in that game has to be at least half full in order to do it. But I granted, um, the throw, the throws in this game, or at least the ones this guy has, you can only do on the ground. So. But yeah, he, he can throw projectiles, or if you go down in X. He does the big old beam. Um, I think it's down forward X. But uh, this one here, it's actually, it's actually meant to go up in the air like that. So it's an anti-air move. But you can use it up close too. guy here, Big Broly, same thing. Uh, charge move. But yeah, he's, he's got himself a throw. And it's a, and it looks like it's a throw that you can also do while in the air, too. Looks like up in the air, it's a, it's an uppercut, and he's got an eraser blow too. Um, all characters have this. Um, R1. But, like I said, it just... Oh, here, let me, uh, let me show the third guy. Got another, got another grapple right here, and like the other two. Um, and uh, 
He's also got an air throw, too. But, uh, I guess, um... Yeah. But uh, his throws, you can do in the air, too. good here um but yeah like it's like i said these guys are both grapplers and zoners so and you, to me they're uh, way more fun to play than freaking potemkin and trying to do throws with that guy's like freaking pulling teeth Oh, and, um, but, um, one other thing I did do is, um, like yesterday, I watched a fair amount of rugby. Um, like I said yesterday, I guess Major League Rugby, um, it's a, an American Rugby League that came out, oh, what was it, like 2017, 2018, I kind of knew about it, but didn't really watch a whole, didn't really watch a whole lot of it. But, um, I was, and, um, and I actually was going to be, I was wanting to watch some more Dragon Ball. I think I'm on, a. Uh, I think I'm on episode 28 right now, I think. But, uh, I just kind of, I had to call it Audible and started, uh, watching some more, uh, MLR. And, um, I guess they've had a, they had a YouTube channel out about a year ago. And I said this yesterday, too. Um, all of a sudden, Major League Rugby stuff. Or major league rugby video started appearing on my YouTube recommendations. So, gotta love that algorithm. So, but, but yeah, um, I said yesterday, um, uh, my all-time, my all-time favorite sport. So. And uh, I hadn't watched any, um, hadn't watched any rugby in a long time, so you know, I'm about overdue. But like I said, I was gonna be, uh, I was gonna watch some uh, Dragon Ball, but I kind of called an audible and watched some rugby instead. So, <sighs> okay, but um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And this will be my last cast for the week. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be working. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.